Shri Kumari was subjected to cruelty and harassment by her husband and in-laws. Foster. Soon before her death, she was being harassed for demand of dowry. Foster. Next paragraph. परिवेक्षण में यह तथ्य प्रकाश में आया है कि वादी की पुत्री स्वीटी की शादी दिनांक स्वयं सो को प्राथमिकी के नामजद अभियुक्त आनंद विश्वकर्मा पेसज दिनेश विश्वकर्मा साकिन स्वयं सो बेलागंज जिला गया के साथ हिंदू रीति रिवाज के अनुसार हुई थी शादी के समय उनके द्वारा अपने सामर्थ्य के अनुसार उपहार स्वरूप नगद सहित कपड़ा बर्तन आदि दिया गया था उसके बाद मृतिका मगध महिला में भर्ती कराया गया जहाँ उनका पति का हल्का फुल्का जला अवस्था में इलाज के साथ मगध मेडिकल अस्पताल पहुंचे It is there. Diary में कहीं पे नहीं. Diary में है. Supervision में है. Supervision. Okay. Yes. But it's part of the diary only, my lord. Yes. Hmm. Anything else? Yes, my lord. That is there, my lord. My lord, my submission would be, my lord, that since the door was locked from inside, the presumption would be that she had committed suicide, my lord. The petitioner. That suicide is also included in 304B. No, my lord. So what I'm saying is, my what I'm saying is, my lord. So the, what are the ingredients of 304B, my lord? May I read the ingredients? Death of a married woman, my lord. In unnatural circumstances, my lord. My lord. Before seven years of her marriage, my lord. And soon before the soon incident, before, my lord. That is important, my lord. Now, my lord, what has what? Cruelty or harassment. My lords may kindly see the FIR, my lords. In the FIR, my lords, what he is saying is that. During the course of treatment, the informant came to know that the uh, the uh, informant is as uh, the deceased is pregnant with two months. That means, my lords, that the victim was never in touch with her parents, my lords. If if read, she was read, indeed read, read read whatever you want to, my lords, my lords, my lords. I am reading from the FIR, my lords. A relevant portion only. Yes, my lords. इलाज के क्रम में मुझे जानकारी मिली कि मेरी लड़की दो महीने की गर्भवती थी और अब जब मेरे लड़के बोलने की स्थिति में आई तो बताई हमारे पति सो ही हैज कम टू नो दैट द डिसीज इज प्रेग्नेंट ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट सो इफ शी वाज एक्चुअली बीइंग टॉर्चर्ड द प्रिजम्शन वुड बी दैट द डिसीज वुड है टू हर पेरेंट्स विच हैज नॉट है therefore the presumption are टू फोल्ड वन दैट शी वॉज नेवर इन टच विथ हर पेरेंट्स और सेकेंड दैट शी वॉज नेवर बींग टॉर्चर्ड Yes. Yes. Who is appearing for the state? Ma'am, and Milad, one more thing, Milad. Co-accused, the mother-in-law has been granted bail. I have filed a supplementary or affidavit to bring What the order reason? on the court. Milad. What reason? Reason, Milad, is that uh, the door was locked from inside. Uh, Read, Milad. May I read, my lord? It has reason come during investigation. Yes, my lord. It has come during investigation that the deceased has committed suicide while dousing fire. Her husband has suffered burn injury. Considering the fact there is no specific allegation against the petitioner, the applicant application for anticipated okay. bail is allowed. Yes, lord. So this yes. fact has been recorded by this uh, co coordinate bench of this honourable court that uh, she had committed uh, suicide, my lords, and uh, that the husband has also suffered burn injuries, my lords. And yes. I have also satisfied my lords that she was yes, not. Yes, let, let it. Yes. Yes, my lord. 304B, my lord, died within a year, my lord. Seven years from the date of marriage, mm -hmm. soon before her marriage, she must have been subjected to cruelty mm -hmm. or harassment for and uh, for or on account of demand of dowry. Demand of dowry. Yes, my lord. Any? And uh, para 45 is the sufficient material, my lord. In in para 45, me, me, who could victim. यानी कि कह रही है कि हमारा यानी कि पिटिशनर जो है उनको कॉट होल्ड किए हैं ओके और बाकी कौन से वो इसमें से लिख लेना थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर बी सिर्फ यहाँ से बाकी नेक्स्ट पारा हर्ड 
the learned counsel for the applicant he argued that co accused savita devi has been granted anticipatory bail by the coronet bench of this court by the order dated 17 1 2022 First up, it is further argued that the alleged dying declaration of the deceased is totally unreliable and untrustworthy. First up, it is further argued that husband of the deceased had also sustained burn injuries, and this fact belies the dying declaration in the wake of. statement of witnesses recorded during the course of investigation first of all it is further argued that there is no evidence to show that soon before her death comma the married woman was subjected to cruelty or harassment for and on account of demand of dowry first of the learned app opposed the application by contending that the offense is serious and there is dying declaration of the disease recorded at the hospital which points out ingredients of the alleged offenses next para i have considered the submission so advance and also peruse the case diary first of sweety kumari into bracket since disease next para mai aega married son of applicant dinesh vishwakarma on 15 six 2019 first of she sustained burn injuries at the house of the present applicant and her and his son on 17 3 2020 2020 sweety kumari died because of burn injuries on 29 3 2020 2020 the incident took place at village belaganj and the death was at the patna medical college hospital first up at that hospital dying declaration of sweety kumari is seen to have been recorded by sub inspector amit kumar first up next par according to the prosecution case comma savita kumari uh, so sweety 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 kumari was subjected to cruelty and harassment by her husband and in laws first of soon before her death she was being harassed for demand of dowry first up next para do in the dying declaration pama sweety kumari has alleged commission of her murder has a word has a word about commission of her murder by the present applicant as well as her husband rakesh comma the police has filed the charge sheet for the offense punishment